you have requested it and I'm going to do it. So let's go ahead and do it. Many of you have said we want a graphical guide for player known battlegrounds and I've said there's so many of them out there on the internet. Just go find another one and then people still requested it and so I finally said okay I'm going to do one. So here I'm doing one. This is going to start the monotip series that I'll have for player unknowns battlegrounds for a couple of reasons. One, monotips because I can do a single tip and thoroughly explore it in under 5 minutes. It's not a lot of stuff for me to edit or put together and I can do it in 2 or 3 hours worth of editing throughout the weekdays. This means that you guys get videos throughout the weekdays that could possibly help you instead of like once every other weekend when I have the free time to edit a 4 or 5 hour 20 minute long video with lots of flair and added content. So, screen mode. I run full screen windowed. I run full screen windowed because I stream and I tab in and out a lot and it's easier when it's windowed. You, if you're not tabbing in and out a lot, if you're just sitting down and playing a game, want to run full screen. Games tend to run better, not always, but in most cases tend to run better at full screen, not full screen windowed, full screen. Now, screen scale. So let me demonstrate what this does. If I turn this all the way down, notice these black bars back here. They got way more jaggy, okay? Screen scale basically decreases the resolution on your screen if you turn it down and then upscales it to fit your screen. If I turn it way up, uh, way less jaggies over there. So what it does is it renders up or down depending on where you turn it. Um, if you turn it up, it's going to render more, but that's going to cost frame rate. So you get the idea. Anti-aliasing in this game. FXAA is the type of anti-aliasing this game uses, and I hate it. So watch the black bars. I'm going to turn it on ultra. No more jaggies. But everything looks like it has a thin layer of Vaseline around it. Yeah. And it does this at distance as well. So everything looks like a little bit smeared and a little bit more unclear. And I really hate that. And I don't think I notice targets as well at range. Um... So I tended to leave FXAA off just because I hate FXAA as the type of anti-aliasing to use. Post-processing. Color change. It does a little bit more than color change. It changes effects and things like that. Personally, I like to turn it off. It's just kind of like a screen effects. It's more than that, but I run it at very low. Shadows. Now if we turn these on ultra. Yeah. Very low. Yeah. Ultra. No. It basically increases the intensity of shadows. Now, when this game is optimized, that would look great. But currently, because the game is not optimized, shadows are pretty taxing on the system currently, so I say no. Textures? You can run these at whatever you want, but be warned, if you're running on very low textures, things sometimes look like Play-Doh. Okay? Um, I run them at high because I like my game to look nice, but I don't want to run them at ultra because I do want a little bit extra performance boost from that. And ultra textures, I mean, high textures are palpable to me. I can stare at them and be okay. Effects, you're not really going to notice too much of a difference aside from explosions, fires, things like that. Keep them on low. Uh, foliage, now there's a competitive reason why you'd keep this on very low. One, if you keep foliage on very low, there's less grass, bushes aren't as thick, and there's less tree cover. People keep foliage on low competitively because they can see people better in grass, see people better in bushes. In general, they can see people better and across the map better. So, it is a performance boost, and there's also a competitive reason to low, uh, lower foliage. Now, view distance. We're not actually sure what the measurements are on view distance, but I've hit shots four or 500 meters away, no problem with view distance on low. So I'm guessing it has a minimum range at which it renders, which is probably like one kilometer. I don't think it would go any lower than that. You don't need more than one kilometer worth of view distance. If you do need any more than that and you actually hit a shot, for the love of God, link me or I'll call you a liar because that's insane and you need to be featured. Motion blur. I personally hate it, so I turn it off. It is a slight performance impact, but it's so slight that you won't notice. Personal preference here. Okay, we're done with that. Moving on. So, desktop. Make sure I didn't have any porn on there. Properties, by the way. The game, right click, left click, left click. Oh, now all this stuff that I have in here, I'm going to copy this and I'm going to put it in the description. So if you want to copy it and put it in your game and your launch options on Steam, you're good. Uh, and, and that's I can explain to you what these does, but this uses all your cores. I forget what this one is. This forces DirectX 10 and that does make your game look different. And I'll show you how. So, OK, boom. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to either cut it in half and half or I'm going to go from one image to the next. I'm just going to flip back and forth between the two so you can see one image and you can see the next and you can see the difference between those options on and those options off. 
So I'll say something like, here are the options on, here are the options off. Here are the pre-launch options on, and here are the launch options off. Launch options on, launch options off. And you guys will get to see what exactly that looks like in the game when I turn those launch options off. So, because it may be a look that you don't really like and you don't really want to have to deal with it. So, back to properties, set launch options, control Z, D, I said Z. That's my graphical guide, short, sweet, simple, to the point, hopes it helps you, should increase your FPS, mm, 5, 10%. Here's the thing you need to understand. This is a game that's in early access that is not optimized. It's not going to run well no matter what you do. You can make it run better, but not good. So that's the disclaimer I'm going to give about these. Your game may see a slightly noticeable increase in FPS. It's not going to magically fix your problems until they optimize the game. Just want to make sure you know that. I'm Guns. Hope this tip helped you guys. I'll see you out there on the battlegrounds.